This is a passive bass. Now, I'm saying this because I'm I'm going back, and I told y'all earlier in some of the other videos, one of the other videos that I've done, that I'm going back to the old stuff so I can retrain my ear. All right, so what is the issues that are running up with right now? Some of the issues are, it ain't hot enough! <laughs> I gotta turn my amp up more! That's right. Now, but you have a 1,000 watt amp or a 900 watt amp or a 500 watt amp or you got a, a 2,000 watt amp. Whatever you got is enough to make this bass talk. Amazingly. All right, so the problem is it ain't as fast as you think it would be if it had a preamp in it. Now you have an issue. I have an issue. What's my issue? My issue is I want it to react faster. But that's not what she's supposed to do. She's supposed to talk in her own timing. She's supposed to talk the way she was made to talk. That's why she don't have a preamp in it. And that's why it's almost making me upset. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure you are too. If you're playing going, like, man, it ain't, it, ain't, it ain't loud enough. It ain't, the notes ain't clean enough. But they are. They're natural. They're natural notes. That's what they are. They're not clean enough to you because they're not high fi fra high. Now, what you need to do, guys and young ladies, is keep playing it. Keep playing it. Because what you're getting is a dose of the real stuff. That's the Jocko stuff. That's that real Jocko stuff. I mean, you can get it on your active bass, but this is old. So what you're hearing is old stuff. Okay. Naturally old stuff. And I think the question was asked to me, well, well can we just buy like a, a 20, you know, 2018, 2019 jazz with, with no, um, you know, with nothing in it and get that same sound? Yeah, you probably could. Then again, you won't get this sound. This is a cured sound. Now, let me explain that to you. A cured, so a cured sound is like old wine. Old wine always tastes better, doesn't it? That's like old liquor. I hate to use those phrases, but that's what it is. When you let stuff sit for years and years and years and years and years and years and years, and years it gets cured and it just becomes so much better. It tastes better. It goes around in your mouth differently. Boy, you sound like you drink. Uh, no, I don't. I saw it on TV. Because <laughs> I don't drink at all or smoke. All right, so look, check this out. So an old wine, if you leave it long enough, it ferments and it gets better and better. Same thing for these bases. When you let them sit longer and longer, the longer you let them sit, the better they sound. The much, much better you sound, girl. You old too. <laughs> she knows it. All right, so it's like this. And let me explain something to you because a lot of cats are asking me questions about, hey man, I'm going back to the old stuff, but I can't get with it, bro. I, I ain't mad at you, all right? But you got to learn somehow. All right, you got to you have to retune your ears somehow, and you're not gonna be able to do it with an active bass. It just ain't gonna it ain't gonna happen. It's too fast. All right, so look, check it out. Here's here's my greatest example. If you if I go outside and cut a tree down and shape a tree just like this bass, 
neck, body, the whole nine yards. It's going to sound like a bass. It's going to sound just like a bass. If I put the same if I put the same stuff in a brand new bass that I cut down this morning, reshaped, did everything I had to do to it to make it look like this, it would sound like this bass. Not. The difference is the tonation. And if you're so used to hi-fi and you're so used to the active stuff that's going on right now, you're not going to be able to tell the difference. The only thing you can say is, oh, well, that one does sound a little warmer uh, something, but mine still does the same thing yours do. Exactly. It's going to always sound like a bass. It's the mojo. All right? Young cats don't know what mojo is. They beginning to learn, though. You're going to learn today what mojo is, and that's what it is. This bass has mojo. A lot of people are like, I don't know what that is. Don't really care. All I need the bass to do is sound clean. Whatever the case may be. I ain't mad at you. So, here's my thing. For you all, here's, the, here's my answer to all the questions that's coming in. The older the bass is, the more tonation you get out of it. And remember, this is an old bass with nothing in it. You're going to have to go get it. It's there. You got to go get it. If it was active, you can still go get it and just be right there in your face all the time. Be right up here. With this, you got to go get it. It makes you go get what you're looking for. All right? And that's the greatest thing about an old bass. That's a, to me. This is law by me. This is OG law. Okay? The greatest thing about an old bass is that you got to go get stuff. You got to go get it. It's like, it's like when your parents get old, they make you go get stuff. They can see it from where they are. Hey, hey, get up, boy. Go get me that stuff over there. <laughs> your granddad. Get up, get up. Hey. But they, it's right there in front of them. But you got to go get it. But because he has so much wisdom, you got to respect him. This bass has wisdom. Anything that's old has wisdom and knowledge. If this bass could talk, it could tell me some things. Would I want to hear all of it? Probably not. Majority of it, I would, though. Like the places it's been, the people it's seen, who touched it, who was around it, who lit a cigarette around it. What what if famous cat walked past it and, and touched it or or looked at it and were like, hey, yeah, that's nice. Who knows? Who knows? If he could only talk. If you can only talk, girl! But it's all right. I still love her. So, so guys, um, that's my answer to the, the old, why you got to go back and get an old bass. And I, because I already said that. I ain't got to keep going. And I'm going to tell you, it, it, it's going to upset you again. Going back and get a P bass is a lot better actually than going back and get a jazz bass. Because the jazz bass has a whole lot. I, I think, and, 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 and a lot of people argue with that. Me personally, I'd I rather start getting my ear back with a P first because it upsets me even more. But I know there's more tone in one set of pickups than two. And I know a lot of people are going like, well, that's got, you can just put it to the front and sound like a P. Nah, baby. It'll be close, but it ain't exactly the same thing. A P bass has its own voice, its own voice. Especially in the old P has its own voice. Then this one has its voice and there's another voice. So this one has two voices, where P has one voice, but it's its own voice. And the old it is, it has so much wisdom in that voice. This, as old as this is, has so much wisdom in its voices. You get that on the way home. Shada Kaka! There's my answers, y'all. Have a great day. Keep checking out my videos. Johnny Long at the Hobo Depot. Peace out. Shada Kaka. <laughs>